Hello and welcome to my little bookish corner of the internet. My name is Harriet. Today I'm going to be talking through the books that I would love to read in July. Now my TBR for July is not going to be a very big one at all. To be honest, I keep setting my expectations way too high and then when I don't reach them I do get a little bit disappointed. So this month I basically just want to focus on books that I feel like I'm really going to enjoy and that I can really get into and not worry about whether I'm reading enough because I have been feeling that way recently, especially with kind of the bookish side of the internet. So booktube, bookstagram, everyone else seems to be reading a lot more than me. Um, so if I set my expectations low and then I do better than what I thought, then that would be amazing. But if not, I feel like I'm really happy with the books that I picked out to read this month. Okay, so let's talk about them. Um, the first two I have mentioned in my June wrap up because I am halfway through them. So we have got The Dispossessed by Ursula Le Guin, and we've also got Sapiens by Yuval Noah Harari. So both of these I've already spoken about on my channel, so I'm not gonna talk about them in today's video. But if you do wanna hear a bit more about them, then you can check out my June wrap up and I do speak about them a little bit more, but I am really excited to continue on with these. I feel like Sapiens might take me into the following month as well, um, because it is a non-fiction, so I can just dip in and out of it whenever I like but I do know that I'm gonna be finishing The Dispossessed really soon because I do not want to put it down. And then we can move on to the different books on this list. So one of them is a repeat, and that is A Storm of Swords, Steel and Snow by George R. R. Martin. So this is the first part of the third book in the series, um, the A Song of Ice and Fire series. And I was supposed to start this the previous month, so I was gonna read it in June, but I just have not had the time. It's such a big book and I really want to dedicate all my time to reading this when I do start it, so I think that this month will be the month to start it, but if not, I'll start it in August, it's not a problem. Um, but I am excited to continue on with the series and see what is happening with the different characters. I thankfully can remember most of what happened in the previous two books, and if not, I suppose I can just look back at my notes. But yeah, I'm definitely excited to see what is going to be happening in Westeros and the Seven Kingdoms. The next book actually links back to one that I've previously read, and I believe I read it in May. So I would love to read Lolita by Vladimir Nabokov. And this was actually given to me to borrow uh, by one of the people that I work with. So we basically did a swap for My Dark Vanessa by Kate Elizabeth Russell. So I gave that book to them and they gave this book to me because that book references this one quite a lot and I've never read this. So they very kindly gifted this to me just to borrow and give it a little read so I can kind of understand the references in My Dark Vanessa a bit more. Uh, I know this is going to be a really dark and hard to read novel, but it is a classic and I do think that I'm going to like it. Um, if you didn't know the premise, I will read it to you. Poet and pervert Humbert Humbert becomes obsessed by 12 year old Lolita and seeks to possess her, first carnally and then artistically, out of love, to fix once for all the perilous magic of nymphets. This seduction is one of the many dimensions in Nabokov's dizzying masterpiece, which is suffused with a savage humour and rich, elaborate verbal textures. So yeah, I'm a bit nervous to start it, but after reading My Dark Vanessa, I feel like I'll be able to handle this. But yeah, definitely let me know down below if you've read this and what you thought of it. But I really do want to read it very soon, um, while My Dark Vanessa is still kind of fresh in my head. And I will be uploading a video for a review of My Dark Vanessa, so that will be up soon. But yeah, hopefully I can get to this this month. And then the only other book that is on this list is going to be a childhood classic, which I don't believe I've ever read. I have seen the Disney adaptation and the live action adaptation, which I feel like most kids have. Um, but I would love to read Peter Pan by J.M. Barry. And this is a beautiful illustrated edition that I managed to get from the charity shop. It's got pictures throughout and then it's got the big map on the front there but I have heard that this is really different to the Disney movie and there's some things in here that you wouldn't expect to read about so I'm just really intrigued and I'm also just excited to read this because I feel like it'll be very comforting and to be honest it will probably end up being one of my favourite books I really have a feeling that I'm gonna really like it but I feel very grateful to have found this edition in the charity shop and I just want to sink my teeth into it and have a little look at all the illustrations as well and just really take my time to appreciate how much work went into making this. I mean, the illustrations are just amazing and so beautiful. So hopefully I can get to this in the month of July and I will hopefully really enjoy it. 
And that is it for my July TBR. So there aren't too many books on here and two of them, like I say, I've already started. So hopefully I can get through them, but if not, I'm not gonna put too much pressure on myself because otherwise I'll be worrying about how much I've read rather than what I've read. So basically I'm setting my expectations low and my enjoyment levels high because that is what I want to prioritize. But yeah, let me know down below what is on your TBR for this month if you've read any of the books that are on this list. And that is it for me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.